the lady from Ankara. International Affair. The lady from Ankara. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at the Google Account Help Center's tips to complete account recovery steps. Now this is the particular article that I previously mentioned in regard to having forgotten your password and not having recovery options that easily help you recover access to your Google account. And this is the, the, the article that I've linked in all of those videos. So this particular one here, this, this, this particular Help Center article does take you to the Google account recovery page, which you can use, which is ever so slightly different from the regular sign in page. And it gives you uh, information about the types of things that will ha help. It also leads to a little bit of confusion, um, particularly in regard to this one, which is why I'm drawing attention to it. Answer as many questions as possible. Try not to skip questions. If you're unsure of an answer, take your best guess rather than to move on to another question. Google does not ask questions about Google account recovery. Not anymore. So when they ask, when they ask you not to skip questions, they're more likely to be referring to the relatively rare occasion where they ask you for the last password you remember. Now, of course, that's a problem when you've got a fairly new Google account and you've never changed the password. But if you have and you remember an old password, even if it was a compromised one, that is the type of question that is now meant with this particular paragraph. Using a familiar device and location. Now, this is really important and this is probably the most underrated tip of, of them all. Use a device phone or tablet where you frequently sign in. The only drawback here is that if you have factory reset your phone, your computer or your tablet, then it will be classed as a new device and not as a formerly or uh, previously used one. So bear that in mind. Use the same browser as you normally do. So if you habitually use Chrome or Safari, then that is what you should be doing. Um, don't start using something like Firefox. And then also be in a location where you usually sign in, like at work or at, um, at home or at school. So if, you, if you're used to using your, your laptop or your phone or your de device from a home location, then make sure that you are at home when you try this. What it doesn't mention, and that is because it has become wholly anecdotal now, in, in other words, there are rumors that it can help is that if you have previously tried and failed these things here, try it again after exactly seven days, not a moment sooner. So leave at least seven days before you try again. That can help with helping Google accept the, for all purposes, correct answers to the, their requests the second time round. Uh, Obviously, when you're when you're trying to enter passwords, avoid typos. So do try to be as accurate as possible. The answers to security questions, that is a fairly redundant thing because as as before, again, the only sort of security question that you can really be asked is whether you know your phone number or your email address, your recovery email address, whether you have any contact email address because as, as we um, see below is that there are three types of email addresses that could help you. And that the first one is the most obvious one, your recovery email address. The second one is an alternate email address. So when you have a Google account that uses a third party email address, let's say Yahoo email address, and then you add Gmail as a service, both the Yahoo email address and the Gmail email address will work as a sign in email address. Then it, the Yahoo one becomes the alternate email address. And the contact email address is, is an email address that you could have added just to receive notification from Google on. And that is quite helpful as well. What isn't mentioned is a former recovery email address. 
and that can help as well. So if you have updated your recovery data and maybe you have lost access to the new recovery email address, but you still have use of the format recovery email address, that will work as you will have seen if you've watched one of my videos dealing with exactly that. Um, it also, it, it, you know, it, if you're asked why you can't access your account, now this is a, a sort of an advanced troubleshoot, which on very rare recovery flows it will appear. And that is usually where there is additional security and verification set up on a Google account. And none of the videos that I have show this particular type of scenario where you're, where you're asked, well, why can't you sign into your Google account? The example is that you're traveling and that you have a, you know, error message or your Google account has been hacked um, by malware and, you know, you can't remember your password because you just changed it. Anyway, giving them the correct scenario will help them because they obviously know why you can't sign in. But if they can get a sense that you also know this, then you're already halfway home. So it is very helpful. So anyway, it's it's a very long way of saying that th while this may not apply to you in large part, or maybe not even very much at all, do read it and understand it because it does go quite a ways of um, helping you understand how important it is to set up recovery options for yourself. And I know I go on about this and by the time you're watching this video, the chances are high that you do have a, an issue with signing back into your Google account and it's it's a bit late in the day. But once you do get back in, and I'm hopeful that you will, do be sure to set up uh, verification options. And I cannot, um, I cannot recommend two-step verification highly enough, particularly the physical eight-digit um, recovery codes which I say physical because you generate them then you download them and you print them off and keep them somewhere where you can then access them. Even if your device is stolen or broken, um, they're not stuck on your device. You actually have a physical copy. So hopefully this will give you some tips about the things that are important to remember or to be aware of during recovery and that it'll encourage you to secure your Google accounts better um, in future once you have access back and also that you will seriously consider two-step verification and the eight-digit backup codes because one of the most vexing things is to lose access to a Google account and I speak from very bitter experience. So thank you for listening and goodbye.